Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. If you are new here, um, welcome and make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Just click that subscribe button and make sure your notifications are turned on so you will know every time that I do another upload. So today's video is brought to you by Clay E Hair. This is my second time working with this particular company. So they sent me four bundles of their Brazilian curly hair if it's a different like you know origin I'll put that like on the screen and stuff but I think this is Brazilian curly hair and I have it in 22 inches four bundles in 22 inches and a 20 inch closure so I told you guys like months back that I was gonna start doing more closure wigs mixed in with all the frontals because what I noticed is a lot of my um, closure wigs look just as natural as frontals. It just depends on you know styling, and they just they're just easier to put on and go versus frontals, um, in my opinion. So uh, that's why I decided to get a closure this time. So the process of getting the color that I have was very experimental and complicated in trial and error so um i saw this picture on instagram of this girl that had purple and blue and green in her hair and i was like i'm gonna try that but if you guys don't know a lot of companies don't have curly 613 hairs 613 hair is the easiest to um get like to achieve like bright colors and stuff but I didn't have any curly 613 hair so I just took this hair which was originally a natural color and what I did was I bleached it using 40 volume developer and some powder bleach and I'll like insert footage of me uh, doing this as I talk so I did that and I lifted the color and it was a pretty like medium like honey blonde color which was pretty i could have went with that color but i did want to do something a little bit different with this curly hair so what i did was i took several colors and i'll try to insert all the dye that i originally used and i didn't do the watercolor method initially what i did was i mixed three separate bowls of different colors one that was a blue color one that was like a greenish color and then one that was like a red a red violet color and I sectioned the hair off and I painted the different color dyes on the hair and so I washed the hair out and the purple or the red violet color did not look purple at all so this is why I would prefer to have a 613 um, curly wig because those colors will show true to color and the colors did not show true to color the only color that looked decent or i liked was the green color so what i did was i went back once the hair had dried and i filled up a stir like a sterilite plastic container the one that i used to dye the blue wig i did a few months ago i filled it up um, with hot water and I put green emerald dye from a door in that container and then I dropped the wig in it and so all of the hair that was like more so on the red side or like this just weird reddish color um, it was dyed green so I'm gonna have pictures of me in natural lighting so you will see I have like dark green highlights in the hair and I'm going to turn around because most of the green is going to be in the back so hopefully you guys can see that I'll try to turn up the brightness and everything so this is what it looks like in the back I use pretty much literally probably all of the all four of the bundles that came so I hope you guys can see that color because I feel like it's actually a really pretty color. So this was a fail, but I think I redeemed it and I think this is a, you know, a unique color combination. So it does have like dark green in it. It also has some leftovers of, of a red violet kind of brownish color in there as well. I think it, I think it turned out pretty cute. So the hair itself. I put it through a lot and you guys can see that the curls are popping. I put this hair through a lot because I bleached it and I left it on the hair 
for a while. Two of the bundles had to be bleached twice because I ran out like halfway through and I washed it out and then I had to bleach it again another day when I bought more of the bleach. This hair has been through a lot and it still looks very nice and the curls are popping. So what I did to wash this hair, I used the Aussie um, conditioner to wash this hair and then um, just to make the hair pop, I showed you guys this on camera. I used the Garnier Fruities Sleek and Shine um, Leave-In Conditioner and I used this to make my curls pop. And then I just used my Flarisol spray bottle. This is a continuous flow spray bottle. So if you, you know, sometimes when you use spray bottles, you get hand cramps and stuff like that. So um, if you guys want like a, like a, a nicer spray bottle, um, I picked this one up off of Amazon and I can leave a link for you guys in the description box. Um, yeah, so after I did the color and everything and I washed it out, um, I did bleach the knots on this wig. Took um, pretty quickly, which I, I like when that happens. Sometimes, depending on the company, knots will take, you know, a longer time to take and um, yeah, so somebody was asking me, is it absolutely necessary to bleach your knots to make, you know, your, your wigs look natural? Um, you don't have to. You can go other routes like using the spray tan method, which I featured on my channel. Or you can just use powder and go about your business. But honestly, I feel like um, bleaching your knots is a pretty critical in making your your wigs look natural still haven't uploaded my standalone video but i do have it like on my computer for you guys and i'll put it up um yeah so i bleached the knots and the i've noticed it well with pretty much all closures and frontals um most of them are going to be very full like the hairline is going to be very thick and unnatural so i did go through and tweeze the hairline to make um, the front to look a lot, to make the closure look a lot more natural. Um, and I do have videos on how I tweeze like my hairlines. Um, it's not, I have a video specifically where I show how I tweeze my hairlines on my frontals, which is basically the same for closures. You just have less space to work with. So I'll put that on the info card for you guys. So I feel like the hairline looks pretty good, looks pretty natural and the overall look is very pretty um i did want to use all four of the bundles because this is you know the winter time so you don't want skimpy hair you want like something really full and i think this is very very beautiful as far as shedding and tangling um i did put this hair through a lot my hands are like you know gliding through it for the most part um, and I am getting a lot of shedding and I'll tell you guys why and a lot of times I don't focus on um, Shedding too much with the wigs that I make I did make this wig if I haven't told you guys if I haven't told you guys that already I did make this wig using the hot glue gun method and when I do the hot glue gun method I cut the wefts so shedding is pretty much inevitable so I do have shedding with this wig not only from you know cutting the wefts but I did cut the actual cap after I made the wig around my ear so like a huge chunk of hair came out so um, that's where my shedding is coming from now my hands glide through it for the most part I will get some snags some snags though but I'm not really worried about that if you don't know how to do the hot glue gun method is if you don't know how to do the hot glue gun method, I have two videos on how I do that so you guys can check that out as well. And that'll be on the info card. So overall, um, this this curly hair from Clayey Hair is very beautiful and I really like the look of it. And I think the you know subtle green color is just something that's interesting because it's not like lime green. It's a very subtle green. If you are interested in purchasing this hair from Clay E Hair, just head over to their website. If I have any coupons or if they're having any sales or anything, that will be listed down below in the description box. Um, I wanna thank you guys for supporting my channel. We're getting closer and closer to 100,000 subscribers, which is a big deal. We just hit 96,000 a few, um, 
a few days ago by the time this goes up so um shout out to you guys for supporting my channel again if you have not subscribed go ahead and subscribe turn on your notifications and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys